to four run. And Gonzaga leads by nine. Well, take Offensive a look. rebound yeah. has been a big part of been, it. Been a big factor. Take a look. Like watch Harris kicks it out. Gary Bell already on that three point line. Gary Bell, a guy that made five threes in the first half at LMU. He can light it up. Well, Mark Few talking to his team playing very well in the second half. ESPN College Basketball available live anytime, anywhere on your computer, tablet, or smartphone at watchespn.com and with the Watch ESPN app. One of the reasons this is such an important game for St. Mary's, Dave, is they don't have a lot of quality RPI wins on their schedule. The best one right now would have to be BYU, and they're 62. Now they won that game on the road, so it's a nice road win. But you watch St. Mary's, and they look like a tournament team. They look like they're clearly one of the top 30 or so teams in the country, but that resume, they need a boost. Well, there's no question. And they've got Creighton coming in next week for Bracket Busters with Doug McDermott. B uh, BYU will come back in here. Of course, Matthew Delavadova was the hero of that game with that buzzer beater. Uh, signature shot in the college basketball season. Delavadova working against Olinick. Finds Juicy open. No good. Rebound Olinick. Snatched it away. A lot of open looks for St. Mary's. Missing shot. Pangos blew right by the defense to draw the foul. And man, has Gonzaga gone on the attack in transition? Well, this is a team that you, you know they average almost 80 points a game. They can play a lot of different styles. Right here, Pangos getting into the rim. St. Mary's, a little bit of trouble. Struggle losing three in a row, but I think the committee thinks of them as a quality team. The record's great, but you know, the strength of schedule speaks for itself, and the committee will look at this, and certainly they got the WCC tournament as well in Las Vegas. Yeah, they were the champions of the WCC tournament last year, two out of the last three years, so the automatic bid will certainly be up for grabs as well. But the Gales don't want to go to Las Vegas needing to win to get in. That's not a good position. Particularly with a top five team in this West Coast Conference in Gonzaga and looking like it here in the second half. Well, on the other hand, for Gonzaga, you're playing now for the highest seed possible. And Mark Few would love to be on that second line come mid March. I think he's got a great chance to be. A lot of quality wins on Gonzaga's resume. This is a 10 point lead, biggest of the game for Gonzaga. St. Mary's led by one at the half but it's been all Gonzaga in the second half Kyle Rowley threw it away Bell looking confident but his pass was tipped by Walker Bell saves it into a Linux finds Harris who gets fouled the ball Levesque prevented the dunk but Harris will shoot free throws broken play but Kelly Olenek know where, knew where to go with it, and he found Harris on the backside. Yeah, that good. was a nice look by Olenek. Yeah, good hustle here by Gary Bell. Look at Olenek. This is a broken play, but Olenek just makes that extra pass, and Elias Harris, who seems like he's been around. Did he play with Stockton? Seems like he's been around <laughs> forever. He's had a great career. A guy who burst on the scene and had some incredible performances his freshman season. And there was speculation would he go to the NBA right then and there he has stayed around he's yeah. really having his best overall year this year you know he's become a really good college player he embraces the power forward spot in college you know will he make an NBA team it's possible but people had him in the lottery as a freshman and that was never realistic St. Mary's is just getting blitzed here in the second half Stephen Holt a long two in and out no good and Harris grabs the board Yeah, this is a veteran team now Hart didn't want to shoot it. And here's Pangos. Olenek much quicker than Kyle Rowley. Lost the ball. But there's Mike Hart around the loose ball again. Shocker. Back clock down to six now. Olenek shoots. Got it. How about that? That's unbelievable. Has anybody improved as much as Kelly Olenek has? There have been some guys that have, by the way. 
But I don't know if anybody's any better a year later than Kelly Olenek has been. Holt goes middle. Holt gets the roll. That's really important. You mentioned Holt's 23 up at Gonzaga, which got them back into the game in the second half. They trailed by 18 at halftime of that game. Olenek wanted to make the quick move. Instead gave it up, and Bell threw it to nobody. That's a turnover for Gonzaga. They're sixth of the game. They've kept care of the ball pretty well. I'm going to see one of the most improved players in the country on Saturday in Richard Howell from NC State, who is likely to be an all-ACC first-teamer. He'll take on Virginia Tech if I make that red-eye flight tonight. We have overtime. I'm staying with you tonight. Come over to San Francisco. <laughs> we got room. Delvadova, Levesque, who has just been almost invisible in this game. Foul trouble, a part of that. Walker, jump ball. And the Zags with good defense would get it back. Yeah, the, the one thing that we knew about St. Mary's this year, this is really good, solid defense. At times, Holt's been that second score, but they really miss Rob Jones' versatility and a guy that would love to bank with that, bang with that Gonzaga front line. Still a lot of time, but Gonzaga's really taken control of this game, playing at a very high level right now. Harris posting up on Levesque, had it knocked away. More contact. Holt in transition. Three. That's important. Because Stephen Holt can get going. He's got 10 now. Timeout, Gonzaga. The crowd starting to get back in. I think everybody here was just stunned the way St. Mary's fell behind in the early minutes of this second half. When you watch Matthew Delvadova, keeps it simple, finds Holt. Battles that line. Good rhythm, Jay. Once again, and that's what you love about Del Vadova. He knew they needed to score for him to score in the first half, but he's got to get his teammates going in the second half. Hey, you figure the big men have to get involved as well. We got a chance to remind you. We don't want you to miss some of the hottest celebrities, film, TV, music, playing alongside NBA legends. It's the Sprint NBA All-Star Celebrity Game tomorrow at 7 on ESPN. Also live on Watch ESPN, part of All-Star Weekend down in Houston this year. I'll watch a little bit of that. But starting Saturday, I got three. I'm, I'm a busy guy. You this are week. A very. You're the busiest guy in television coming up. I'll be at NC State on Saturday for Virginia Tech. Sherry Cole and her Oklahoma Sooners. I'll, they'll be playing in Kansas on Sunday and then Big Monday with Brent Musburger, West Virginia, Kansas State. Kansas State, a team that Gonzaga just thumped in Seattle earlier this year. Waldo fought for the rebound, couldn't grab it, but St. Mary's comes away with the ball. Levesque almost dribbles it away. And Delavadova is going to take charge here. Chance to chip away, though. The screener, Waldo. Instead, delivered over to Walker, who came up way short there. A foul. And that one's going to go, I think, against Gonzaga. Well, Walker, the junior college transfer, has had some good looks. Hasn't been able to knock him down. Drew Barham in the game now for the Zags. A guy that transferred from Memphis. A really good shooter, Dave. And, you know, that small forward spot for Gonzaga has basically been by committee this year. Yeah, he's another example. He's wearing number 43, guarding Holt at the moment. But Drew Barham, another example of a guy who he'd probably be playing big minutes on a lot of teams for Gonzaga. He has a hard time getting in games. But he can shoot it, which is why he's on the court right now. He can really shoot it. Started 12 games at Memphis for Josh Pastner before transferring. Delavadova will get the screen. And now the switch off has Dower on him. Delavadova, no good. Rebound, loose ball. And it's off of Bo Levesque. Well, you love it. You love Levesque's energy. He's a great story. Double hip surgeries, injury, injured throughout high school. A red shirt. Played for the great Frank Olaco right down the road at the USL in Concord. Former Notre Dame football player, Frank Olaco. Levesque's had a, an excellent year. He's gotten a lot better, but he has had a quiet night. Pang goes, missed the three that time. It'll be St. Mary's ball. There's still a lot of time left in this game. 
St. Mary's went on the big run at the end of the first half, actually took the lead. Gonzaga has controlled the second half. The shooting for St. Mary's, the percentages dipped down. Levesque's going to check out of the game. Mitchell Young back in. And the Gales need something from their big men. They are being whipped underneath the basket. Well, that's been a that's been a dilemma, as you know, as I mentioned. You know, you like Young and Waldo. They they bang. They're tough. But you're not going to get a lot of scoring out of them. Or is an elbow? No, that's a foul. Young call for the first one. Now that's. I think they're going to go to the monitor again. That that elbow was above the shoulders. That's the rule. That rule's been instituted. It hasn't been adjudicated as well across the country as it should be. But I think they'll take a look at this. This very well could be another flagrant one. And no matter what, it's going to be the fourth personal against Mitchell Young, which is news in and of itself. Let's look. Now, I, 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 I think that's a flagrant one. I really do. I, you it's know, not the elbow. It's the shoulder. I've been told by officials it doesn't matter. Any part of that arm that strikes above the shoulder. That's what I've been told. Now, you got some top officials who referee their own rules. There's a few, not many. 95% of these guys are excellent. And this is a very veteran crew. They do a lot of big games in the Pac-12 in the WCC. They, they did take a look at it. And they want to see it again. Now, I read the darn rule book. I really do, but I, I get confused, too, because... Take a look now. now. Unless they say that it's not an elbow, but I've been.